Hello and welcome to One Club Champ. This is Alsbury United. We are in May of the year 2034 and we're in the Champions League final. Uh, we have just kind of finished off our league season where we won the Premier League for the first time in the club history, uh, finishing on 98 points, 32 wins in a 38 game season, only two draws and four losses and a goal difference of 67. DS Funchal finished top goal scorer on 20 goals in the league. Mark Antoni was the highest average rating player at 7.54. And Yuki Kato hit 14 assists. And now we bring ourselves to the Champions League. And our feature game is against Manchester United. As you can see from the semi-final, we beat Bayern 5-3 on aggregate. Then in the quarters, we beat Roma 8-1 on aggregate and then in the first knockout round we had Juventus so we've had Juventus we've had Roma we had Bayern and now we've got United in the final final as you can see Clayton is the top goal scorer or joint top goal scorer with Bettenin and uh, Clayton has also got an 8 point or 8.05 average rating in Europe Yuki Kato with five assists Clayton has managed four um, man of the matches and uh, and yeah Yuki Kato up in the top three in a couple of uh, different categories but it looks like Clayton the Brazilian really relishes the European Knights so here we go um, this is our second um, Premier League oh sorry not Premier League our second Champions League final and uh, we lost to Liverpool here in the year of 2031-2032 Tottenham made it to the final uh, last year and now we return to the final against United now let's go to the team selection because we've got some issues here with our team unfortunately uh, Paulito is gonna have to take an injection to play so he got picked up an injury he's receiving an injection Paulito is too important to leave out so he is gonna play Jez Isaac gets the start over Sydney Alexander in the centre and that gives us our lovely little kind of relationship quadrant. Um, we have 11 subs on the bench which is which is crazy um, but there we go 11 subs. Glauber is not fit um, he's only allowed to play 75 minutes apparently. Um, Glauber won young player of the year so that's a, a great accomplishment. Um, considering he is uh, still young, still learning. We've got Elliot Roden, not Elliot, I keep calling him Elliot, might as well change his name, is Elton Roden and uh, Mark and Tony in the, in the back, Paulito in the DLP, Kato on the left, Glauber on the right, Kardec, Isaac, Bukia bringing the centre of midfield and then Clayton and Diaz Funchal are in there. Diaz Funchal wanted by, you know, Spurs, PSG, Barcelona, as always. Bukia is wanted by Chelsea, Liverpool, City, United, Barcelona. Yuki Kato is wanted by Barcelona. And Paulito is wanted by Barcelona. And Glauber is wanted by West Ham. So Barcelona want half of our team here. Anyway, this is the team. We have the chance to win the double. Premier League and Champions League in the same season. We'll have to see how we do against this United team. Who knows? We could have one of those games. Now, United love to play in a 4-4-1-1. And Carlos Alberto is a great player for them. Um, as you can see, he's got the highest average rating and most assists. Paulito will sit on him. Uh, Granelli is a striker. 28 goals in 52 games. we got Christian over here with 30 appearances. Bruno Eduardo, he's got 48 appearances on average. This cut, this guy is unreal. Um, 50 appearances, he's one of the best midfielders in the game. Who's this, Deu? Yeah, not, not great. Look, 690. Le Blonde, nearly. So these guys, they're, they're okay. Uh, Munoz, I know, is a great defender. 56 game. And Gurla right there and there's Reynard so here we go Champions League final in Kiev 
Let's give them um, let's give them a little bit of a of a team talk here. We just say I would say um, no, no about have fun. Let's just say go out there and win it for the fans, and then have faith in the players as always. Go out there and make a difference. End that team talk. Now get out there. And let's see what happens. Here we go. Alsbury United versus Man United in the Champions League final. Alsbury are going for the double. Five minutes in and no real highlights here. We've had a couple of shots. Nothing really is standing out from this performance. Bit of a bit of a snooze fest so far. Although United look like they've got a, uh, They've been a bit focused. Clayton picks up a yellow card. That's not good so early in the game. Twenty-five Coming up 25 minutes in and it's a tight affair. We've had no highlights so far. What is going on? I mean, I guess you've got the two best teams in Europe. Playing against each other. It's going to be a close affair. It's not going to be like a 5-1 win or anything else like that. Elliot Roden picking up the yellow card. Only three shots have happened in this game. Let's give them a little shout. A little demand more. Here we go. Free kick to United. If we can win and counter, we might be in. Elliot Roden with the ball. Yuki Kato with the left. Drops it back to Roden. Into Suarez. Roden. Playing out from the back. Alan Kardec. Drops it into Paulito. Into Kardec. Paulito again. Boys are keeping it, keeping it short. There we go. Kato down the left. Go on. Whip it in. Oh, and Clayton heads over the bar. Great play by... Oh, sorry. Clayton heads over the bar. And Kato. Kato and Clayton. Well, there we go. We're about to come in. It's half time and it's been a really close game. Let's go into the dressing room. Yeah, it's not it's going okay, isn't it? We we weren't that bad, but we'll tell them they can still improve. Do that across the across the team. Glauber's hanging in there. Although he's not playing too great. Paulito is playing okay. We might have to change Glauber. It's a shame the young player of the year not being really fit for the final. Jez Isaac has made a lot of mistakes today. Short passes are connecting well. Kato's getting skinned all too often. Well, he's more of a winger. Here we go. Kato with the long throw into the box. Glauber's got it on the back. Out to Kato. Oh. And it's... It looks like it's been deflected for a corner. Glauber with the corner. Floats it in. And United clear it. There's the ex Alsbury player, Edu Serra. And I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to probably look to change... Oof. Do I change an injured Paulito or do I keep him in? I think I keep him in. Now, Jez Isaac is 
not is not having a great game. Here we go. United have got the ball here. Deep in our half. Bukia heads it clear. Diaz Funchal gets the break. And Isaac is breaking away. The ball winning midfielder. Oh, it's a good save by the United goalkeeper. That is not... Of all the players, we don't really want our ball winning midfielder to be striding forward with it. 20 minutes to go. Do we really want to make a, a change? United have taken off their best striker, Granelli. Jez Isaac gets his 17th yellow card. And with 15 minutes to go, we're just going to hold off on the subs. Alan Kardec with the ball. Into Bukia. Bukia strides past that United player. Lays it back to Paulie O. Back into Kardec. Out to Isaac. Out to Kato. And that is a goal. Glauber. The young player of the year. The right back. Gets a goal. In the Champions League final with 15 minutes to go. Great cross at the back post. And Glauber just a lovely little header at the back post. And Kato gets his 15th assist of the season. Free kick to United. Carlos Alberto whips it in. Uh-oh. Oh, no. The referee has given a penalty against Glauber. Oh, the scenes. And then United slot it away and it's 1-1. That's like the only chance they've really had. Look, two shots on target. Glauber not only becomes was a hero at one end and then a mug at the other. We have wrapped up six yellow cards here. Make a sub. Okay, I'm going to take off Clayton for Fabiano. I'm going to take off Jez Isaac and bring on Sidney Alexander. And I'm going to change his role to an advanced playmaker in the center there. And I think we're just going to leave it at that. Paulito is going to play, continue to play with the injections. Going into the last five minutes. We've had 16 shots to United's four. But in terms, in terms of half chances, we've had three. Possession, United have got a little bit more of the thing. And it's a free kick to United. It's gone all the way to the back post. Oof, I didn't like that camera angle. We managed to, managed to get away with that. Here we go. Glauber with the long throw. Glauber launches it in. And it's headed clear. Sidney Alexander recovers the ball from the outside. And Paulito plays it to Kardec. Into Paulito. Into Alexander. Switches it out to Glauber on the right flank. Crosses it. Oh my word. That was a great double save by the goalkeeper. Here we go. We're in injury time here. In the final of the Champions League. Throw into Glauber. Launches it into the box. Diaz Funchal. And it's in. It's Paulito. He scored only his third goal of the season. And Paulito, who has got injections uh, in, his, in his legs to play. In the 95th minute, it crashes off the underside of the bar. And it's in. And it's over. Owsbury United have won the Champions League with a 95th minute winner from Paulito, who we injected just so he could play the game. Well, there you go. Owsbury United, double, double champions. We have won the double, the Premier League and the Champions League in the same season. Starting from the Bet Victor Central all the way to the Premier League and now Champions of Europe. And Glauber 
with a with a man of the match performance, even though he was half injured. What a game. I mean, look, we deserved it. 19 shots to their six. We've had a fair few bookings here as well. Was it six, seven bookings? But that's incredible in the 96th minute. Well, that is just about made my, uh, my day right there. I'm not sure how we top that other than potentially winning all four um, competitions in the Premier League, FA Cup, League Cup and uh, Champions League. We've already won the Club World Cup. Um, there you go, I'm kind of speechless. We've normally been done in the last minute by all these other teams. In, the, in two playoff finals, we've been beaten in the very last minute. And now, this team in this formation... Uh, have come up trumps and what a performance okay Woo, that's a good episode there thanks for watching everyone up the ducks and we're on to the next season